all right good evening everybody and welcome to the video this video we are gonna solve a lead code problem this is categorized as a hard problem okay so this is actually difficult and it has been asked in amazon and facebook interviews several times so the problem that we are about to solve and under understand is problem number 32 longest valid string so let's understand the problem and then i have a beautiful representation through which i'll explain you the details so the problem says here the the valid uh, valid essentially uh, you know parenthesis is this one what is the maximum length here two right here this one and this one so the maximum length is four right and similarly they have a lot of you know other pattern and you have to essentially print the maximum um, length of the uh, maximum length of the parenthesis valid parenthesis so over here as well right for this example so what do you think is the valid parenthesis here right uh, let me just show you so the answer should be two right as you can see on my box right so the way this algorithm works is uh, actually very interesting because i had to myself watch a lot of tutorials to understand right so okay so the way this algorithm works is first of all we need a stack um, so this is our stack data structure, right? Where I'm gonna maintain. So how this is gonna work is the so first of all, you come at the first character. Now you ask yourself a question. Hey, is this an open, is this an open bracket or a closed bracket? What is your answer here? So before even starting, right? Before we start the stack, we will push a negative one on the stack, okay? Please hear me out, okay? And then uh, we'll go slowly, slowly here, okay? So the first time we come in, we ask a question, hey, is this a open or a closed bracket? And the answer that comes is, hey, this is actually, you know what, a closed bracket, right? So since it's a closed bracket, we usually pop the stack, right? So we pop from the stack, right? So negative one comes out. And then we ask ourselves a question. Is the length of the stack is zero? It is it? Yes, it is, right? So we'll append the index of the current character into the stack. So stack is holding zero right now. We move forward, right? Now here, right? So now, uh, I think I'll use colors to explain you much better. Now we are here, right? Again, ask yourself a question. Hey, is this open or closed bracket? It is a closed bracket, okay. If it is a closed bracket, then what do we do essentially? We pop the stack, so zero, we pop zero. And then we ask, is the length of the stack or is the stack empty? The answer is yes, right? So we append one to the stack, okay? Now, we come to this character, the third one. Now, we ask our, ourselves a question. Hey, is this an open bracket or a closed bracket? The answer is, it's an open bracket. Okay, if it's an open bracket, then we append to the stack. So now in the stack, you will have the index two, okay? Now, we move to this guy right here, okay? Again, ask yourself a question. Hey, what, uh, is it an open or a closed bracket? The answer is what? It's a closed bracket. What do we do usually with a closed bracket? We pop the stack, you have two here, right? Now the length becomes, remember, now hear me out. The length becomes the current index minus what you have in the stack at the last position. So three minus one becomes two. So now initially max is zero, right? So, uh, zero. so now you're gonna compare, is essentially the, this length is, uh, is basically uh, this length greater than the max yes it is chain the max remember what we did we essentially uh, will write this in a box so we said three minus one right right correct with me so far right so we got two and then we updated the max here okay now we are on this variable right here so we'll change the color again we ask ourselves a question again hey is there an open bracket or is it a closed bracket what is the answer it's an open bracket right so you open there on the stack now in the stack what is this id uh, essentially four right uh, yeah did i miss anything here yeah so the id is four right now the next time you come into this character right here right now you ask yourself a question is this an open or a close uh, is this an open or essentially is this a close what is this it's a close right so what do we do we pop the stack okay now what is the last element in the stack? It's one, right? Okay, what is the index of this five, right? So now this becomes five minus one, that is what? Four. So now you ask yourself a question. Is basically 
this greater than the max? The answer is yes. So what do you do? You update the max variable. So in this case, the maximum valid parenthesis, uh, longest, par uh, longest valid parenthesis is uh, the four, because one, two, three, four, these are the pair, right? Uh, or, or two, whatever you want to do, de depending upon whether you're doing it a pair or not, right? So the same logic I have programmed here, right? Iterate, check if it's an open bracket, right? My hash map, this, the hash map essentially has a keys. Keys are open brackets, so I'm asking a question, is it an open bracket? If it is open bracket, append. If it is not an open bracket, pop the stack. So that's why I initially appended my negative one here, right? Now, hopefully that makes sense, right? So we say, check the length of the stack. If it is zero, then append the index, right? And then we calculate the length, right? So the current index minus stack of negative one, and then we compare and essentially, in, uh, we compare and then essentially we uh, update the uh, max length, right? So if you had to run this code, uh, uh, you should be getting one, uh, two here, because one and two, right? Uh, so hopefully you got the idea. So this is how the algorithm works, right? This is very tricky. I personally had to go over a lot of times just to understand, I was like, Wait, because my brain was thinking, okay, I'm gonna put on the stack and then when I see a close bracket, I'm gonna pop on the stack. But that didn't work, you know, that didn't work. So I had to see the resources and learn, okay, how is this gonna be done? So a very interesting problem, um, you know, essentially, uh, very, very interesting problem. So I would encourage you to solve this out. Uh, yeah, so then I, 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 let me cancel this. Uh, how do I bring this? Uh, yeah, so essentially I have submitted it here on the lead code, right? And essentially it did pass all the tests as well. As you can see, it passed all the tests, right? So this is the solution for uh, the problem, longest valid parenthesis in Python. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning, and I will see you guys next time.